Are you looking to link up your Euroi software wallet to an identical copy in Daedalus? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at how we can take our Euroi software wallet and make an identical copy of it in Daedalus. The way that we're gonna go about this is we're gonna use the recovery phrase that we got when we created our Euroi software wallet. We'll use that to restore a new wallet in Daedalus and the end result will be two identical wallets because they have the exact same public and private keys generated from the exact same recovery phrase. If you're still kind of unclear on how private keys, public keys, addresses, and wallets all work together, check out our video where we break this down in detail. But if you're comfortable with that concept and you're ready to go, then let's jump in. So the first thing we're gonna to want to do, since we already have our Euroi software wallet set up, is we're gonna to need to get Daedalus set up so we can restore onto there. We'll go to cardano.org, click on Daedalus wallet. From there, go to download, select your operating system and follow the install instructions. We're gonna skip the install process for this video, but if you want a little bit more of a slower paced walkthrough on how to install, check out our video on installing a Daedalus software wallet. Okay, so given that you've gotten your Daedalus software wallet installed, let's check at what the wallet is that we're going to clone. So we've got here, uh, we had multiple wallets obviously, but this is our Woodland Pools Euroi software wallet. We see here that it has a total of exactly five ADA. And if we look at the addresses here, we see that the wallet's address starts with ADDR 1Q0, sorry, 1Q806, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, in Daedalus, we're gonna to go to Add Wallet. We're gonna click on Restore Wallet. And now here, it asks us right away, do we wanna restore from a Daedalus wallet or from a Euroi wallet? We're trying to restore our Euroi wallet to Daedalus, so let's select that. And then here, uh, Euroi only uses 15 word recovery phrases, so the era that we're in is Shelly, select Shelly Wallet and hit Continue. Okay, so now here is where you're going to enter your Euroi recovery phrase. I probably should have mentioned before, but if you don't have that handy, you should have it written down on a piece of paper. We have ours right here. Go and get that, get your recovery phrase, and then when you get to this step, enter your 15 words that Euroi gave you when you set up that wallet. So go ahead and do that now, pause us, we'll do the same, and then when you're done entering your 15 words, unpause the video and we'll continue from there. Okay, so we entered our 15 word Euroi recovery phrase into Daedalus, and now it's gonna ask us to name this wallet. You can name it anything you want. We'll call it Woodland Pools Euroi Port, because we're porting from Euroi to Daedalus, but it can be anything you want. Now we're gonna want to enter a spending password. This spending password, same as how we had on Euroi, is what we're gonna need to enter anytime we want to validate a transaction and say, yes, this is us. Now this is specific to Daedalus itself, and is different than the spending password you had on your ROI. You can make them the same if you'd like, or they can be different. The only thing that has to be exactly the same that got us to this point is the recovery phrase itself, but these settings of what we name the wallet and the spending password, those can be unique to this wallet if you'd like. So go ahead and enter a strong spending password, and then we'll click continue. Okay, so we've entered our password, we'll hit continue. All right, so congratulations, your wallet's been restored. Now let's double check that everything was brought over the way that we expected. So we'll click on close here. We see our Euroi port has been brought over, but as this always happens with Daedalus, now we're gonna have to have this sync up with the network. Because Daedalus is a fully trustless wallet, it needs to sync with the network and validate all the transactions on its own. It won't rely on any third party to do it for it. So let this sync up to 100%. When it's done, we'll be able to check to make sure that everything looks right and that we've successfully cloned from Euroi to Daedalus. So go ahead and pause us here, let your wallet sync up, and then we'll keep going from there. We'll see you in a minute. All right, great. So it looks like our wallet has finished syncing. Uh, we see here, if we look at our transactions and our balance, let's go actually to our dashboard. Yeah, there we go. So we can see that our balance is the exact same five ADA even. Let's go to receive and look at our address here. We said it was 1Q8065 was what it started with. We've got to receive here, there it is, 1Q8065, cool. So at this point now, we have two identical wallets, right? Same public keys, same private keys, same set of addresses. They are identical and indistinguishable at this point 
for any transactions on the network. So what we can do is we have a few options at this point. If you no longer want to be using your ROI, you can go ahead and go back to your wallets and you can delete your, uh, your ROI wallet. That won't, do, won't, won't matter because one, you have your recovery phrase, so you can always restore it if you need to, but you have your copy here in Daedalus. Um, what you might want to do, for example, if you decided that you wanted to move to Daedalus because you like that it is a more secure and trustless wallet that verifies everything on its own, but you wanted to have a mobile option, what you could do is just not use the uh, Yoroi browser extension, but if you had Yoroi and you were using it on your mobile phone, you can continue doing that and use Yoroi for mobile on the go and use Daedalus as your desktop option. So what you do at this point is totally up to you, but you're ready to go. If you are kind of confused about how the wallets and keys all work together, check out that video I mentioned. If not, check out one of our other videos. Either way, congratulations on getting your wallet synced up and ported over, and we'll talk to you next time.